Hello and welcome to the Amex Stadium. I hope every fan has brought his or her umbrella because it has been raining and it continues to rain. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brighton and they take on Norwich City. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Thank you, the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Rashica. and played the pass well and that is offside Lalana good looking sequence and no way through Norman onto Le Melou on the offensive crossing possibilities real chance a really sound goalkeeping well that's such a good save isn't it how did he keep that one out and now the delivery cleared away comprehensively that's a routine take Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Matthias Norman. Puki. Oh, great attacking play. A very effective challenge put in. Mopé. Making progress. I think they look as though they want to make this move count. Trosa must take the lead here. Options in the middle. Plays it back and blocked for now. A 
Now showing good defensive judgment. Joel Feldman. Pascal Gross. Well, they keep the ball moving. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Williams. Rashidza. And intercepted it. Puki. Could play it in. Les Malou. Still passing it around with authority. Terrific piece of anticipation. Pascal Gross. Lalana. Cucurella. Here's Gross. Well, great read there to intercept. Norman. Couldn't keep the ball. And disappointing that it's gone out of play. Mopé. And struggling to get the shot off. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Sergeant. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Crossing opportunity. Oh, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Still not clear. Danger averted for now. Ben Gibson. Buki. Opportunity here. Under pressure to get it away. Well, threat over for now. And a throw in it's going to be. Matthias Norman. Les Malou. Firing it in. Superb stop. Over it comes. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Dunk. Mopé. Well read to put an end to that attack. Might really be able to trouble them here. Mopé. Giving the ball away. Rashica. Ben Gibson. Grant Hanley with it. Norman. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And offside, just as he was ready to pounce. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Yeah. 
And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Lalana. Webster in possession. Brandon Williams. Norman. There's a slide draw pass. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Tossard. Mopé. A running room in the wide position. Must take the lead here. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Now can they make something happen? It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Norman. Will he find the net? Able to close down the shot. And the keeper got there. It's a short one. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Now, how about the short corner? Norman. Rashica. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. It is a decent looking attack here. Lalana takes the shot. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Now the short corner routine. Firing it in. Able to get a body in the way. Not increasing the pressure, another corner it is. And played short. Can he find the net? And foul it is then. This to open the scoring here. A goal! Accurate from the spot! One nil then. Number nine, Neil Morte. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Hanley. Matthias Norman. Grant Hanley with it. Aarons. This looks promising out wide. 
Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Mopé. Chance to play it in. An effective challenge. And it might be. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. So 2-0 now. Number 14, Adam Ramona. Guessing forward. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Attending to his defensive chores. Well, as you can see, Brighton are controlling the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Another great challenge. Free kick here. Well, just a warning from the referee this time. And I think the referee has got that absolutely right. It's not a card for me. Trossard. And beyond the last defender, offside. Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Well, great read there to intercept. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Good work to regain possession. Oh, moving it nicely. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. The fans are driving the players on. Surely they'll hang on here. Joel Feldman. Lalana. And space for the cross. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Oh, what's he gone and done? Really important tackle. Les Melou. Temo Puki. Grant Hanley with it. Five minutes to go.
Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Not a particularly strong challenge. Space and time for the cross. Just couldn't get it through. And there's the delivery. Terrific piece of anticipation. And he clears the danger. Aaron's. And he read it well, intercepting it. And the counter attack is on. Options available. And players waiting in the centre. Teammate available. Closing down well. Lalana, what a vital intervention. Going well. Body on the line. Matthias Norman. Williams Gibson now and there goes the final whistle victory for Brighton and Hove Albion they get maximum points how would you sum it up? Well Derek they were better than their opponents in all aspects